We got pineapples. <laughs> and we got grapefruit. Grapefruit, pineapple. Oh, why? Because it's syrup day. That's why. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is cut up. <laughs> Which way? This way. <laughs> Sorry, let me do that again. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is cut up a pineapple. Yeah, pineapple. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just got the knife sharpened. <laughs> so, what we wanna do, I'll just start with that, see where we fare. Okay, let's just. We want to just uh, cut up some chunks here on this pineapple. Oh yeah, it's a nice ripe pineapple. What we're looking for is about two cups, okay, of uh, fresh chunks of pineapple. Now, this is like perfect for, uh, you know, when you got a pineapple sitting around and it's getting overripe. Huh, yeah, you know, perfect perfect use for it. So I'm just going to get my little measuring cup here. Get rid of this stuff here. Right? Alright. That's good. And we're going to just cut up our chunks until we get two cups here. There we go. Whoa! Watch your fingers. Ah! <laughs> two cups. Awesome. Okay. So two cups of fresh pineapple in the pot it goes. The next thing we want to do is grab a grapefruit. Yeah. So what we want to do is just zest um, the grapefruit. It's going to take a minute here to do. I think we need a clock wipe. It's going to take a bit, right? <laughs> okay. Gonna grab the second one, <laughs> and away we go again. It smells delicious. Oh my God, it smells so fresh. Like a grapefruit, zesting for the very first time. Like a grapefruit. <laughs> okay, I think we're done. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. We're just going to set this off to the side here, clean up our mess, and uh, what we're going to do now is cut this grapefruit, and we're going to, where the hell is it, <laughs> we're going to juice it. Nice and pink. That looks pretty good. We we'll dump that in our pot and get on to the second half. <laughs> Whew. Number two. <laughs> Okay, we just finished the last of our grapefruit juice. In the pot it goes. Yum! And to this mix, we're going to add a half a cup or 120 ml of some fresh clean water. And next, a little bit of sugar. I've got a third of a cup or 67 grams of uh, organic uh, cane sugar. In the pot it goes. Now, I'm gonna add some rosemary. I've got, what do I got here anyway? I've got a bunch of sprigs here, large ones. One, two, three, four, five. In the pot it goes. I wonder if I need a bigger pot. No, I think I'm good. Okay, <laughs> moving forward, <laughs> let's light our stove, okay? Maybe. 
What the hey? Ah! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't try this at home, kids. We just want like a medium heat, okay? And we're just going to, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Um, we're gonna let this kind of do its thing. Fire. Yeah. So, I'll uh, see you back here in about 15 minutes. Lock wipe. Chevron. Okay, now that it's been, uh, you know, gently simmering for, oh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes, I'm just gonna get in here with my muddler and I'm going to, you know, kind of mush up some of these. Actually, you know what would be better than uh, the muddler? <laughs> my potato masher. Oh yeah, yeah, you get in there and you mash everything up. Looking good. Smelling divine. I mean, I'm getting a hell of a lot of rosemary. Rosemary is so good for you. It actually, if you take it daily, it'll help improve your memory. Just saying. <laughs> but what do I know? I make drinks, I make syrups. Shut up. Yeah, we're in. Um, those uh, pineapples are getting nice and soft now. We're gonna take the rind from our grapefruit and we're gonna drop that in now. Oh yeah. Stir it up to incorporate it. Oh yeah. Holy crap. This smells divine. Oh my God. Just wanna like bathe in it. Well, not really. <laughs> It's too hot. <laughs> All right. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it off the stove and let it cool for a bit. Cool down to room temp, okay? I'll see you in a bit. So what we're gonna do now that it's cooled down a little bit is we're just gonna strain it. a Little bit at a time here. And we're gonna get in here with our, sp we're gonna get in here with our spoon and we're gonna press and try and extract as much of that liquid as possible, okay? Actually, this is where um, a, f a food mill would come in handy. And I probably should get my food mill, but not everybody has a food mill, so we'll just, well, we'll just press with the back of the spoon. Yeah, it's nice and simple, right? <laughs> Less mess, too. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, let's do that again with the rest of this mix. The, oh, that's, that works. Yeah, that totally works. The smell of rosemary is coming through like 90. It really is. It's just like, holy crap. And we only used like five sprigs, right? Now, you don't get a lot from this mix. And that's okay because I'm not making a lot. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you can double up the recipe quite simply. And you'll probably get like, I don't know, maybe five days in your refrigerator. So you want to, uh, you want to use it up. You want to make your cocktails and use it up. There we go. I think we're in actually. Yeah, that looks good. I got pretty much a cup. What we want to do is bottle it. All right, let's bottle this. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to fine strain our mix one more time. Oh yeah, look at that. 
Look at this gold. It's not overly thick, and that's okay. Actually, <laughs> there's really not that much sediment. So, I mean, that's an optional thing to fine strain it. But look at that. There's really not that much. All right. And there you have it. Our pineapple a grapefruit simple syrup. Um, beautiful color, isn't it? I guess we should give it a go. <laughs> yeah, we should. Oh, well, I get pineapple right off the bat with a little backdrop of uh, uh, grapefruit. Let's try it. Wow. 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 That's delightful. You know, there's just enough sugar that it, it's not, it's not like overly sweet by any means. It's just flavorful. Oh, there's the grapefruit. There's the grapefruit. Initially I tasted pineapple and now all I'm tasting is grapefruit. Awesome. This is delightful. Yeah, that color. Love it. Anyway, um, in an upcoming video very, very soon, we are gonna make a hell of a cocktail with this wonderful pineapple grapefruit syrup. Yeah. Yeah, baby. You wanna fortify it? Oh. <laughs> yeah, let's fortify it. <laughs> all, all my uh, simple syrups, um, my flavored simple syrups, I fortify. So, hmm, I'm thinking vodka only because um, it's neutral, right? Gin would work, yeah. But no, vodka. Hell, I drank all the vodka. <laughs> I ain't got no vodka. Shit, man. Um, looks like it's gonna be gin. All right. Uh, so what does that tell you? <laughs> I'm thinking we're gonna make a, a gin cocktail in the next episode. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I'm just going to dump in some gin here, man. About a half an ounce or so. And, uh, oh, man, I love that color. It's like, uh, I don't know. What is that color? Carrot juice. Carrot juice, yeah. It looks like carrot juice. Okay, let's try it again. Shut up because I can. Wow, that is really, 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 really nice. There's enough sweetness from the pineapple and the uh, cane sugar that we used and the, grape, the grapefruit just kind of like uh, tampers everything down, making it Wonderfully balanced. Wonderfully balanced. That's exactly what this is. Anyway, next time here on Bar Talking Cocktails, we're going to make a fabulous cocktail with our uh, pineapple grapefruit simple syrup, right? Okay, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit that subscribe button down there. It doesn't cost you anything, and you'll be supporting us. How wonderful would that be? Thank you.